Hi, hello, welcome to Vision Classes. Today we will go through the revised syllabus of AS and A level mathematics. So here, and this is syllabus for 2023, 2024 and 2025. Okay, you can see here. Now, uh, there is a nothing change as such. Okay, so they have kept as it is syllabus, but we will discuss the a level specifically syllabus marking distribution and then uh, we will discuss what are the means different different subject you can choose for the as and a level fine and we will discuss a level syllabus as well Th so this is vision classes and it's a classes for igcse and gcse student even ib students are connecting nowadays so if you want to connect with us, I, I have left the contact in the description box. You can contact us straight away. And I am really thankful for your cooperation and support, especially those uh, students and parents connected recent years. So here, look at this one, pure mathematics. So what are the different subjects you have for uh, mathematics? For AS and A level, pure mathematics one, first paper, pure mathematics two, paper two, pure mathematics three, then mechanics one, probability statistic one, and probability statistic two. These are the options or subjects you can choose for the AS and A level. Now, here you must be wondering that how many subjects we can choose for the AS and A level. So for AS level, you can choose two subject out of and then a level again you can choose two subject so you will be having choices out of this six choice uh, six subject so i will just uh, make this simple table so that you will be able to understand then so paper so you have a paper one and paper two for as and a level so as you can take a, a, a means pure mathematics one for a paper two you can choose you have an option either you can choose mechanics or probability statistic one okay out of this two you can choose any of them then for a, a level you have a pure mathematics three you have to take it okay and you have for a paper two you can pick out of three either mechanics or probability statistic one or probability statistic two okay you can choose out of any one out of them so suppose if you would have chose as level pure mathematics one then your options for a level will be just a two either mechanics or probability statistic two okay you can choose out of them okay so those are the options you have and uh, yes uh, you can choose out of then then straight away moving on to next part it's a marks distributed so for a uh, pure mathematics it's a seven it's a 75 marks then pure mathematics 2 is 50 mar 50 marks paper then pure mathematics 3 paper is 75 and mechanics it's a 50 probability statistic 50 and 50 okay so more or less first paper is of 75 marks and paper 2 is of 50 marks paper okay this is how means they have distributed then nextly you can here you have a, another chart here you so you have a, these options for as and a level so so for a paper one pure mathematics one or mechanics or you can see here pure mathematics one or probability statistic one okay so these are the options you can take it then for a level actually you have a pure mathematics three probability statistic one and then pure mathematics three and mechanics you can choose so this is choice number two this is choice number actually one so and this is third choice you can choose so probability pure mathematics one and probability statistic one and then a level pure mathematics three and probability statistic two okay that's it fine now 
we will just uh, discuss a level actually pure mathematics 3 then probability statistic 1 and statistic 2 then and mechanics syllabus okay for a a, a level pure mathematics 3 pure mathematics 3 you have a uh, nine topics are there or nine chapters are there so nine chapters which are they firstly algebra in algebra part you have a uh, five to six different concepts are there uh, means modulation then factor theorem remainder theorem like that fine then nextly logarithmic and exponential function conversion of natural log exponentials okay then trigonometric functions are there trigonometric property cosine sine graphs are there okay identities are there then differentiation integration part is there it's very interesting i like particularly teach the student then nextly numerical solutions so then nextly seventh one vector eighth one differential equation and ninth is complex number okay so differential equation is kind of mix of integration and different uh, uh, differentiation okay so de just a part and just a you have a uh, first order differentiation is there so that's a very interesting part and it's a kind of applicative part is there mechanics you have a five topics are there or five uh, chapters are there firstly force and equilibrium and mechanics is part of kind of uh, physics and mathematics part mixed together okay so here then nextly kinematics motion straight line then momentum momentum concepts are there then uh, newton's laws are there energy work power relation their applicative questions are there in a mechanics so it's a 50 marks question paper fine and you will be having one hour 15 minute are there for a paper okay then nextly probability statistic one uh, again here probability statistic one it's a 50 marks question paper and you will be having five chapters are there representation of data and this representation of data is simple but vast chapter is there first one permutation combination really easy interesting just uh, you have to use the logic technique okay to find out the answer then uh, nextly probability discrete random variable so in the discrete random variable you have to find out the expectance variance table okay so those are very interesting uh, concepts again here normal distribution normal distribution here um, again simple simple concepts are there here also uh, and we have to use those even expectance variance concepts here as well and binomial distributions okay so those are five topics are there in probability statistic one then nextly probability statistic two you have a poisons distribution then linear combination of random variables so linear combinations are there various then continuous random variable sampling and estimations okay and hypothesis tests okay so here chi-square test one tilde two tilde tests are there so those are very interesting okay uh, part of your probability statistic too so overall if you look at the means your paper one and paper two for a level it's a very easy and you will get a grade for sure fine that's it and if you like this video just share with your friend subscribe to our channel and take care bye bye